Hello, I'm Marilyn Greenway and this is Thought for the Day for Thursday, 23rd of July. I'm going to read Psalm 143. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in the darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, Silence my enemies, destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. In this psalm, David is lamenting that the world is not as it should be. How often do we want to lament too? Life hasn't turned out the way we imagined. At the start of the psalm, the things that are wrong threaten to overwhelm him. But then in the middle, David remembers God's unfailing love. And that gives him the strength to go on. For many, this lockdown has been a lament, especially those living alone. I felt quite lost and bewildered when the rug of my own business was pulled from under my feet. I was shocked to find that it was what I did that gave my life meaning. Jesus used to visit the home of his friends Martha and Mary and their brother Lazarus. And I visualised myself as a Mary, sitting at Jesus' feet, drinking in his every word. But no. Turns out I'm a Martha. Busy, busy, busy. After all, who else was going to provide supper for Jesus and his disciples? And it was all very good work. But within Martha rises resentment. Resentment against her sister for not doing her share of the work. And resentment against Jesus for not seeing her struggles and getting her sister to help her. It's sad to realise that most of our foes are within us. Resentment 
is a foe that perpetually rears its ugly head in my life. And in the peace and quiet of lockdown, I noticed another enemy that kept creeping out of the woodwork. In my busyness, I hadn't noticed how good at fault finding I was. But my poor husband is certainly not blessed by me finding fault with the way he stacks the dishwasher. And I hate the resentment and the fault finding that I find in myself. Like David, in that last verse of the psalm, I long for my enemies to be silenced and my foes to be destroyed. I think the secret might lie in the middle verse, where David says, I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a parched land. He opens himself to God, thirsty for him. I am thirsty for Jesus. I realize I need him so much in my life. And I do want him, but I don't want him as much as I need to want him. So that's my prayer. Jesus, I want to want you more. I want to burn with love for you until all my foes, all these enemies within, are burned up and destroyed. Jesus, I want to want you more. God bless you today.